out on this Monday morning. Exiting storm system to our east left a little bit of light snow for our area. There are some slick spots. Hopefully sunshine today is going to help to melt off most of that snow. Slightly breezy northwesterly winds. Chilly temperatures, but some of the nicer weather we'll see this week here today and tomorrow. Tonight will be a very quiet night. Some clouds approaching from both the southwest and the northwest. We'll see still mostly sunny skies for the Tri-Cities area tomorrow, but increasing clouds later in the day as a cold front approaches. And that front's going to bring an end today, any kind of warmth for this week. Uh, we'll see increasing clouds, of course, and then that north wind starting to draw in colder temperatures. And here comes the snow. Early Wednesday morning, we're beginning to see snow off to the northwest, and this is going to make its way slowly across the area Wednesday through Thursday, bringing us, most of us, the best chance of snow that we have seen in quite some time. Temperatures out there today, warming up into the mid to upper 30s and lower 40s. We'll dip back into the teens to lower 20s overnight tonight. It will be a, another chilly night out there. This will probably be the best day of weather tomorrow for most of us. Although, notice up to the northwest, that front coming through early enough, it's not going to be warm up there. 20s and 30s there. Most of us will get into the 40s and lower 50s on Tuesday. Then comes the next shot of colder air. Teens and lower 20s tomorrow night, and Wednesday will be a colder day. And I'm going to skip this graphic right here, actually. I didn't mean to have that graphic. Here's your lows for tomorrow night. Teens and lower 20s. And then again, going into your Wednesday, it's going to be a colder day. And in fact, many of us will see temperatures drop during the afternoon. Our high may be a little bit earlier in the day. It's not going to be a real nice day. Throw in some wind, throw in snow falling, and it's going to be a very interesting one. Already, a winter storm watch posted from Custer County westward. The North Platte National Weather Service for much of their area already posting that winter storm watch starting Tuesday night at 11 o'clock Mountain Time. That'd be midnight Tuesday night, Wednesday morning, and continuing until early Thursday morning. The winter weather advisory in eastern Nebraska is set to expire this morning at 8 o'clock. That's for that departing system that we had that brought the snow last night. Let's look at a couple of long range models. This is the European forecast model starting Wednesday morning. And this one, pretty good shot of snow for us if this were to happen here. Traverses the heaviest snow right through our area Wednesday into Wednesday night. Some of that sticking around into Thursday and then clearing out late in the day, Thursday or Thursday evening as that moves off to the east and we'll say goodbye to what will be a good moisture maker. The GFS forecast model is a little farther south, but it's also coming in a little heavier than the European model is. So, so you see this trek across the area. And there it is right there, Wednesday night, Thursday morning, getting out of here late in the day, Thursday or Thursday night. And we'll say goodbye to that snow and then begin to melt things off, although it's going to be very cold behind the storm system for a few days. I'm going to show you a couple of long range models. Take these with a grain of salt. These are not a for sure thing right now here, but this is the GFS forecast model for this week. And this could be a pretty good snowmaker. There's a chance that many of us could get six inches of snow or more. Now keep in mind though, we're still a couple of days out. We have seen this before and then we've seen major shifts southward and we, then we end up not getting very much snow. But as of right now, the GFS model would bring us a pretty good snow. Let's. I'm gonna go into the editor mode and I'm gonna change this over to the European forecast model now, so give me a little bit of time here. This doesn't take too long. Got to switch that over, click the save button. All right, I'm going to plug this in here. Now, here's the European model right there. This one kind of covers more of the heart of the viewing area with a chance of snow, but it's not quite as heavy, but still six plus inches of snow, not out of the question. That would be a nice six to eight inch snow for a large part of the area. But again, keep in mind, we could still see a shift north or south, and that would mess up everything right here and we wouldn't get nearly as much so again what are we facing basically this week here we're facing a good chance of snow and i'll throw this in the, let's bring up the seven day forecast as i do this here uh, a good chance of snow there's going to be some wind with this so blowing snow is probably going to be a problem as well um we're going to be digging out we're probably going to have some travel issues schools will likely be looking at late starts or, or closings depending on how this exactly plays out. This could cause travel concerns when it comes to the state basketball tournament. We have both girls and boys state basketball going on in the same week this week. Starts today, goes all the way through Saturday. So a lot of traveling around the area over the next couple of days. So that's something to keep in mind as well. It's going to be very cold. So we're talking about frostbite bite and hypothermia, especially towards the end of the week uh, there. So we could get a bit of a mess, but, and again, this is a good news, bad news thing here. We don't like the travel headaches. But the kids are going to love it. The kids have not had much snow to play in this wintertime. My kids got snow pants and all that stuff, gloves and mittens and hats and all that stuff for Christmas, and they haven't been able to use it yet. 
So they're just desperate for a snow. The kids are going to love it. It's going to melt quick. That's the good news. We're in March now. The snow, the sun angle's a lot higher. The snow doesn't last on the ground very long. So hopefully it's going to melt fast. And this is going to be a good moisture ma maker for our area. So yes, there are travel headaches. Yes, there are issues. You have to shovel it, plow it, whatever. But this is, in the long run, this is going to be a good thing for our area that we're getting some moisture when we desperately need some. Hopefully, as long as we don't see a major shift in the uh, forecast models over the next day or two. Like I said before, it's going to get very cold on the back side of the system. Look at the nights, Thursday night, Friday night, down around or below zero. Wind chill values cold enough that we'll probably need to bring back that wind chill advisory map. Saturday, we begin to improve. Sunday, improving even more. Lots of sun will start to melt off that snow. Even on Friday, we'll probably start to get some melting out there. Um, don't forget the time change is this weekend here. We'll be springing forward an hour. You'll lose an hour of sleep Saturday night. Looking at the long range temperature trends, it looks like once we get beyond this weekend, we're gonna see a flip in our weather pattern and start to get back to warmer weather. But this week is certainly not gonna be the case. A lot of cold weather ahead of us before we get to that warmer weather. So there is something to look forward to down the road as we look towards the uh, middle of March, basically, 15th, 16th of March and beyond. Hopefully gonna see a lot more warm weather down the road here. But like I said, I know it's a headache to get all this snow this week, but it will be good in the long run that we get this much, much needed moisture. And hopefully, like I said, it'll melt off quickly and it will uh, seep into the ground and we can get some of that uh, moisture into the ground that we desperately need. All right, well, I wanna thank you all for watching today and I uh, hope it's a good one for you. I'll see you all again on Tuesday morning. Until then, thank you for watching. Take care and God bless. Bye.